Three things you need to know today. First, there's been a string of Turkey Hill robberies. Police are now looking for two suspects and a stolen vehicle. One Turkey Hill on Duke Street in Lancaster was robbed Tuesday night. The suspect reportedly demanded cash from the register. Then that same night, police reported more Turkey Hill robberies on State Street in West Earl Township and also one on Linden Street in Columbia. Eric Peters and Marcus Kitch have been charged with a Columbia burglary. And they apparently also stole a black 2007 Dodge Nitro. Pennsylvania Attorney General Kathleen Kane's back at the defense table with her former, former boyfriend on the witness stand. Government witness Adrian King will be on the stand Thursday for cross-examination from Kane's lawyers. Kane's been accused of leaking secret grand jury documents to the press and also lying about it under oath. The two dated in law school, but now King thinks that Kane's trying to frame him for the leak. U.S. field hockey team beat Japan 6-1 in the Rio Olympics. They also topped two higher-ranked teams in the first two games. This win keeps Americans undefeated in Rio, and it also secures their spot in Monday's quarterfinals. And remember that the U.S. field hockey team trained in Lancaster County. Team USA will face Great Britain on Saturday at 5 p.m. That's going to do it for us today. Make sure to check out our website, Lancaster Online, and to follow us on social media. I'm Irene Snyder. Have a great day. At Lancaster General Health, we are here to keep this community healthy and well, to give you every option to live the life you want to live. That's why we've joined Penn Medicine, Pennsylvania's number one ranked health system, to bring you local access to the world's most advanced research and one-of-a-kind clinical trials that are leading to one-of-a-kind cures. Your life is our legacy, and to us, that's worth everything.